In this video, we are going to study about successive differentiation and we are going to see sm some small problems which we are going to solve using successive differentiation. So let's, dif uh, let's write some standard function and then we will find the derivatives of those functions. So let me take the first function. So I'm going to take y equal to ax plus b and I'm going to take its mth power. I'm going to assume that m is greater than or equal to zero. So, I'm, so this is a positive power. And now I'm going to find the first derivative, second derivative and so on. So what will be the first derivative of this function? So it will be m into ax plus b raised to m minus one multiplied by the derivative of ax plus b will be just a. Right. Let me find the second derivative of this. So m and a will be as it is. And then I will find the derivative of ax plus b raised to m minus 1, which will be m minus 1 into ax plus b raised to m minus 2. So this means that y2 is nothing but m into, there's an extra a here. So y2 is m into m minus 1 into this a and a will become a square into ax plus b raised to m minus 2 okay and we will continue this process so this will give me y n is equal to so you observe that if there is a 2 here there is one less power here one less number here so this will be m into m minus 1 into so on till m minus 1 less from this so it will be n minus 1 and a raised to if it's the second derivative the power of a is also second so it is a raised to n into ax plus b raised to m minus again if it's the second derivative you have m minus 2 so if it is the nth derivative you will have m minus n right so this is the nth derivative of this function so what was the function so y was ax plus b raised to m and we have proved that the nth derivative is m into m minus 1 up to m minus n plus 1 because i've opened this bracket a raised to n into ax plus b raised to m minus n so this will be the formula for the nth derivative of the function y equal to ax plus b raised to m okay now if you just put uh, if you just put m equal to minus 1 in the above step this will look like what y will become ax plus b raised to minus 1 means it will become 1 upon ax plus b right so i'm just putting m equal to minus 1 so what will this formula become so y n will become m into so the value of m is minus 1 now so this will become minus 1 the second bracket will become minus 1 minus 1 will become minus 2 and so on this bracket will become minus 1 minus n plus 1 so this 1 and minus 1 will cancel and you will have minus n into a raised to n ax plus b this to minus 1 minus n because i'm putting m equal i'm just substituting m equal to minus 1 so what is this uh, substitution so this simplifies to what this becomes to y n is equal to minus 1 into minus 2 up to minus n into a raised to n upon ax plus b raised to n plus 1 because i've taken this to the denominator and this is nothing but what so minus sign is occurring n times so i will have what minus 1 minus 1 will come n times and then you'll just have 1 into 2 into 3 up to n a raised to n upon ax plus b raised to n plus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 is n times means i can write it as minus 1 raised to n into this product 
mean 1 into 2 into 3 up to n is n factorial so it is n factorial a raised to n upon ax plus b raised to n plus 1 so this will become the nth derivative if y is what y was a function ax plus b 1 upon ax plus b the nth derivative will become this okay now now what we will do is we will try to find the nth derivative of log of ax plus b okay now if i try to find the very first derivative of log of ax plus the first derivative will one upon ax plus b into a correct so this will become the nth the first derivative of log ax plus b so i can write y1 is equal to a into a so let me write it a into one upon ax plus b okay and now i'm going to so by above formula so the above formula this formula the nth the n minus one derivative of this. so already first derivative is taken right so what is the n minus one derivative of this so it will be y y1 of n minus one which is nothing but the nth derivative of y because already first derivative is taken so if i want to find nth derivative i will have i have now to take just n minus one derivatives are remaining so those n minus one derivatives will give me so by the above formula i'll get a as as it is and what is n minus one derivative of one upon ax plus b now we know from the above formula that the nth derivative is given by this so wherever there's n i'm going to replace it by what i'm going to replace it by n minus one so i'm going to write here what order derivative i'm going to find now i'm going to find a n minus one derivative of which person of one upon ax plus b right and that will be equal to a into so what will happen if i replace everywhere here n by n minus one i'm going to get minus one raised to n minus one n minus one factorial a raised to n minus one upon ax plus b raised to n minus one plus one so this simplifies to what so this simplifies to this a and this a raised to n minus one will become a raised to n minus one raised to n minus one into n minus one factorial upon this one and minus one cancel ax plus b raised to n so this becomes the nth derivative of what of log of ax plus b so y is log of ax plus b i hope the picture is clear the idea is clear so when i find the first it's i want to find here i want to find the nth derivative of log right so what is the strategy we will find the first derivative and then we will find the n minus 1 derivatives so total we will get how many derivatives we'll get n derivatives right so i found out the first derivative which is a into 1 upon ax plus b i got this this a i'm keeping aside and then i'm going to differentiate both the sides by x with respect to x how many times n minus 1 times so the n minus 1 derivative of this will become y1 and the n minus 1 derivative of 1 upon ax plus b i'm going to use the formula above this above formula is the formula to find the nth derivative of 1 upon ax plus b but we don't want to find the nth derivative we want to find the n minus 1th derivative so wherever there is n i'm going to replace it by n minus 1 so i will get the n minus 1th derivative of this quantity right so i will get wherever there's n i have replaced a by n minus 1 and then i simplified it collected all like terms and then i get this formula so now henceforward this will be treated as a formula for the nth derivative of log of ax plus b right let's take one simple exercise so i will say let y be equal to 1 upon 2x plus 3 okay so what is the nth derivative of 
this particular function. I know that this y looks like it's in the form of ax plus b and the nth derivative of this formula is minus 1 raised to n a raised to n n factorial upon ax plus b raised to n plus 1 which we have derived just now here right so this formula i've written okay and i'm just supposed to substitute the values so what will be y in here in this case it will be minus 1 raised to n the value of a is 2 the value of b is 3 so i'm going to get 2 raised to n into n factorial upon 2x plus 3 raised to n plus 1 so this will be the answer of the nth derivative of the given function okay let's find let's take y equal to log of 3x plus 5 and i'm interested to find the nth derivative okay so again we will use the formula i know that if log of y is log of ax plus b then the nth derivative by above calculations came up to be if you remember minus 1 raised to n minus 1 i'm just recalling that c here minus 1 raised to n minus 1 into n minus 1 factorial into a raised to n upon ax plus b raised to n so i will just substitute the value of a is 3 and b is 5 so this means that the nth derivative of this function is minus 1 raised to n n minus 1 factorial into 3 raised to n upon 3x plus 5 raised to n so this will be the nth derivative of our function right so if i take y is equal to 2x plus 3 raised to 10 and i am interested to find the seventh derivative okay what is the seventh derivative i'm also interested to find the 15th derivative also okay so how will i find the seventh derivative now we know that y is equal to ax plus b raised to m then our formula we have derived above was the nth derivative is given by m into m minus 1 up to m minus n plus 1 a raised to n into ax plus b raised to m minus n okay this we have derived above so this means that if y is 2x plus 3 raised to 10 the nth derivative will be m into m minus 1 so on so it will be 10 into 10 minus 1 up to 10 minus 3 plus 1 into a is 2 2 raised to n 2x plus 3 raised to m your m is 10 right so 10 minus what order derivative you want to find you want to find y7 so n is 7 here so 7 10 minus 7 right so this 2 raised to also n so this n will also become 7 so this means that this is y7 will be equal to 10 into 9 into up to 10 minus 3 plus 1 means 10 minus 2 and up to 8 so 10 minus 2 is 8 so this will be just 10 into 9 into 8 into 2 raised to 7 into 2x plus 3 raised to 3 cube right so this will become the seventh derivative of which function of the function y equal to 2x plus 3 raised to 10 if i try to find the 15th derivative then it is clear that this function is 2x plus 3 raised to 10 so 2x plus 3 raised to 10 means the highest power of x is 10 so the 11th derivative or the 12th derivative onwards all the derivatives will become zero right so, so the 15th derivative will obviously become zero isn't it if you take if you take x cube and if you differentiate it three times 
what do you get the what is what is the derivative of x cube three times the first derivative will be 3x square the second derivative will be 6x and the third derivative will be 6 so the third derivative is constant therefore the fourth derivative will become what the fourth derivative will become zero because the derivative of constant is zero so similarly i'm saying here is that if 2x plus 10 2x plus 3 raised to 10 if i find the 10th derivative then i will get some constant but if i try to find the 11th derivative of 2x plus 3 raised to 10 then that derivative will become what and derivative will become zero so if the 11th derivative is zero then it is obvious that the 12th derivative is also zero so this is y11 so therefore 12th derivative is also zero 13th derivative is also zero and therefore the 15th derivative is also zero in this case therefore the y15 which we were trying to find that 15th derivative is also becoming zero okay let's move to the next uh, function so let me take y equal to a raised to mx and i'm going to find the nth derivative of this so we will find the first derivative the first derivative will be a raised to mx into log a right and mx is the as it is so i will multiply it by what m also right so this will be the first derivative of the function a raised to mx right so if i multiply if i find the second derivative now y1 now this log a is constant so it is not going to matter us and m is also constant so we have to again find the derivative of a raised to mx. What is the derivative of a raised to mx? Again, it is a raised to mx log a and the derivative of mx. So I'm going to multiply it by again m, right? So this means that the first derivative gives me m square. I'm sorry, I'm calculating the second derivative. Sorry, second derivative. So this is giving me m square into a raised to mx into log a square correct so in general i can therefore now understand what will be the derivative at the nth stage it will be m raised to n a raised to mx and log a will also come how many times log a will come n times see i'm gender if m square will become m raised to n log a square will become log a raised to n okay so this will become the formula for the nth derivative of what a raised to mx if you just put a equal to e and the above problem if you put a equal to e in the above problem you will get the formula for what you will get the formula for if y is e raised to mx then what will be the nth derivative so just replace a by e so you'll get m raised to n e raised to mx into log e raised to n but we know that log e is 1, right? This is natural logarithm. So log of e will become 1. So I will directly get the formula for nth derivative m raised to n e raised to mx. So y is equal to e raised to mx. The nth derivative is m raised to n e raised to mx. Okay.